Thank you so much, Samantha, for that wonderful performance. That was happy by Leona Lewis, and now I'm happy. I have a smile on my face. But I'm not just happy just for the performance. I have a special guest with me today. Her name is April Peterson, and she is a wonderful hairstylist. She styles my hair all the time, but she's here today. Say <laughs> hi. Hello, hi. April <laughs> Peterson, which is her, not her real name. My stylist name that's, is April Peterson. That's her name is Toya. <laughs> yes, and that's what I've known her by for years. We went to frequent high school together. And um, I looked up on Facebook, and I'm like, April Peterson. Like, I know I'm not bugging, but I could have sworn. Your name was Toya, but she changed it. That's the stylist name. Yes, yeah, more professional. I just felt like when I got into the industry, I wanted to have like a, a name of my own, so I just created it. It's mm -hmm. actually a unique way that I created it, but I mean, that's another episode. Oh, so we have to wait. <laughs> I love the name. It works. Now, how long have you been styling here? Um, actually, I've been in the hair industry for about maybe like four or five years. I haven't been styling on my own as an individual stylist for about maybe a year or so. I just got my license in March. So. Yeah, license, <laughs> yeah, <exactly>. license. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You're not just walking around doing hair. No, she I'm not. The school actually, no, I did not just wake up and just start doing hair. I did go to school. Um, I did further my education and going to different salons and just getting experience and just picking up new things, YouTube, any internet thing that help me out. People ask questions in and out of town, you know, everywhere I go, I have to look up the new things in here and just see what the new trends and fashion, stay in magazines, just all those things, okay. basically. That was things. See, I don't have time for that. <laughs> yeah, that's she has to do her research, that's her due diligence that you have to do. I don't, yeah. I call her like, Tway, what do I need to do? I can't even curl it. Am I flipping it right? I'm flipping yes. everything Tway right. me, I'll just be there and that's, that's what my job is. Right? Exactly. And you do a great job. Now, you also do um, makeup as well. Yes, I do. I also do makeup and I also do styling. I do, I think mean, the, the industry, basically a lot of the things, they kind of work together so they coincide. So if you do one thing, sometimes they may not have someone to do makeup and you might have to do makeup if you're doing hair or if you're doing makeup, you might have to touch up someone's hair. So it's, it's pretty good to have both of them underneath you, your belt just so you, that way in a situation you just will be you know, yeah. good. And she has saved me on many occasions where <laughs> the hair is right but the makeup's not or vice versa. Sometimes I come and I'm just like, you just gotta mm -hmm. do it all. Just right. fix me all together. together. <laughs> so, um, and you actually styled this for me. Yes, I did. Isn't she lovely? No. <laughs> and there's other, other times that you style my hair, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Now, what do you specialize in? Because I know everyone has their own specialty. Yes. Um, actually, I specialize in all kind of hair extensions, whether it's um, non-surgical, whether it's, well, everyone calls it weaving, which, you know, that's the elaborate name for it, but I call it non-surgical hair extensions because it's not attached to your head, but you can change it as often as possible. Right. <laughs> but I mean, that's my specialty. I specialize in that because I can create the, the look of my, like I want. Meaning like, you know, your natural hair sometimes may not give you the advantage of doing certain things with your hair. So I, I like the weave because I can change it up and I can look different one day, look and have a different color without using the chemicals and like hurting my own natural hair at the same time. Okay, <laughs> I like, and I do that. You help me with it where I don't have to change my hair color if I want to go brown or blonde or whatever. You can try anything. I think one time you tried to put blue or purple in my hair. I just change it, yeah. <laughs> you gotta go that way. If you wanna try it, I always say you can try it, but once once it's done, then you know you gotta do something else because you may not like it. So the advantage of if you have hair extensions, then you can take it away and say, okay, now I can start from scratch, basically. Yeah. Okay, all right. And now I know I come to you for different occasions to get my hair done, but is there a specific occasion that people always call you like, oh, I have to go here, can you do my hair? Or Well, I get a lot of phone calls because of the holidays. Those are my biggest um, times. Um, usually when I go on vacation, before I leave, I have to do a lot of hair appointments because people are like, you're leaving? I don't know if I'm going to be able to, you know. But honestly, it just it's, it's based on a person. I have people that are consistent every time they're in need of a new unit or things like that, they come in. So it's like a every three weeks, based on the, uh, the customer, the individual need actually. But mm -hmm. I mean, like I said, it's summertime now, so everyone's going out more, so everyone wants to look their best, so I get a lot more phone calls now. Okay. It's a little bit more busy for me, which is a great thing. Yeah. <laughs> and if people wanted to get you to do their hair, they need to book it in advance. Yeah, they should book it in advance. Sometimes I do get date, you know, dates that I have openings, which I do post. I do a lot of things on Facebook, and I have like 
you know, I have my Twitter, so sometimes if I haven't opened it, I would, I would uh, put on my Facebook, you know, I have openings today, someone hit me up, you know, inbox mm-hmm. me and let me know, and usually they do for the most part, and a lot of people have my number and they contact me and they just let me know, and I think if I'm available, I'm there, basically. So what is the information, what's your Facebook? We're going to put that at the bottom of the screen, but just tell them. Um, my Facebook is April Peterson Style, it's on Facebook.com, you know, and um, my, my regular information to contact me with is, um, I have a... I have my private cell phone that actually is for my business only. It's um, 718-781-8831. And you can contact me anytime. If I don't answer, you can just leave a message or you can text me. I'm good at texting because I... <laughs> yeah. And before you go away, before she goes away, she texts all of her yeah, clients. She's like, her I'm going away. <laughs> this is the date I'm away. If you need to get your hair done, Let book it know. now. Like, yeah. She doesn't just go away and you call her and then you're like, you didn't tell me you're going away. Yeah, like, we know where she all times because yes. if we have a hair emergency we need to make sure that you are in New York Absolutely. so she goes away a lot but when she's away you'll know that she's gone so that's, that's a good she's thing. a responsible hairstylist yes, you can't oh get this God. anywhere else trust me <laughs> so now um you do my hair like I said and just I'm gonna name a few occasions that you've done my hair from my fashion show that I had last year and we're having another one which I'll let you guys know about soon um, photo shoots that I've done with, um, I did one for Envision Studios, uh, with Marvin Studio Lab, I did one with Rex Photography, she does my hair for all of my photo shoots, I had a video shoot that I did, uh, with Papoose and did my hair for that, I also was on Better TV, it was a TV commercial for bathing suits and you did my hair for that as well, and I did a show hosting during the summer last year and you did my hair for that, it seems like I'm busy, kind yeah. of sort of, right? <laughs> But she does my hair, and I hope she continues to you know, help me out with the hair. Absolutely. Now, what areas do you service? Um, actually, I'm not limited. I usually do service the Long Island area because I grew up here and I know a lot of people. But actually, I do anywhere. I'm willing to travel. I, I actually, like I said, I went away a couple of times. I actually did hair out of town. I've been in Florida, Virginia. I get special requests. So, like, if you're ever in D.C., can you call me? I'm like, listen, if you get a gang of people, five people, if it's worth my trip, I will go today. Like, party. I'm not limited when it comes to my job because at the end of the day, professional I need to you know be on a level that I'm open minded and I try to keep my you know the <laughs> this is you know I try to keep everything you know in a, in a situation where it's like I'm not just limited to New York because at the end of the day New York is going to be New York I want to yeah. learn things that New York is not probably doing like other states do different things so that's mm-hmm. what I do so like a party if you get together you have a whole bunch yeah. of females okay. over the house she'll come and do your hair and show you how to put the day. makeup on mm-hmm. yeah. day of beauty day of beauty kind of <laughs> Now, um, we we're, we already went over how people could get in contact with you, but we're going to put that on the bottom of the screen again to make sure you have that information. And I also forgot to mention that for the show, you do my hair too. She yeah. does the hair. Sometimes I have to touch it up when she's not here, but today she was able to help me out. Mm-hmm. But she does my hair. So all the different styles you see. No, um, I practically, do my own. <laughs> yeah, she does her own hair as well, except for the last episode. Episode 5, I think I did my own. But the other episodes in this episode, you did my hair. So thank you. You're welcome. And thank you for coming. It's always a pleasure. And we want to have you on the show as much as you want to come. You can just pop in and, you know, give you a little bit of blush. <laughs> and a little, a little bit of sweet, a little, you know, fix it up for her, of course. And, <laughs> and she has a sense of humor, so you don't have to worry about getting your hair done. And she's like, be still. No. She laughs with you, and it's a, it's a fun experience. Yes, it's a very fun experience. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Anytime. <laughs> April Peterson. <laughs> Thanks for having me. If you would like to be a guest on our show, or if you would like to advertise your business or product, please go to our website, www.nvistudios.com. Send us a message letting us know what you do, and we will contact you as soon as possible. Don't forget, go on our website. show today I know I had a blast um but I didn't want you guys to go until you wrote down these special dates we have some events coming up and I'm gonna be there and I want you to join me there the first event is going to be July 7th that is a Thursday we're having a comedy show brought to you by Envision Studios and it will be held at the brokerage okay July 7th which is a Thursday put that on your calendars get your pen and your paper right now That's at the brokerage. The address is 27 
97 Merrick Road in Belmore. The doors open at 6.30 and the show will start exactly at 8 o'clock. But you need to get there at least by 7.30 to get a seat. Okay, if you have any questions, if you want to get discounted tickets to go, you need to get them in advance only. Do not show up at the show trying to get tickets. You must get them in advance, okay, to get those discounted tickets. Either call this number, 516-425-6463, or go to our website, which is, of course, located at the bottom of the screen. Now, the next event uh, that's coming up after the comedy show is a flea market that we do every year. It's going to be held every Saturday starting July 18th. So July 18th is the first flea market of this year, but it will be going on every Saturday after that during the summer. Um, the location is in Hempstead. It's 384 Clinton Street, okay? And uh, the flea market starts at 9 a.m to 4 p.m. We're uh, welcoming all vendors, customers, come out, have a good time. There'll be entertainment, different things going on, different merchandise being sold. For more information, please call this number. Once again, that's 516-425-6463, or you can visit our website. Now, the next event uh, that we'll be having will be located at the same location, 384 Clinton Street in Hempstead, July 22nd. It is a live event. Uh, we will have live entertainment. There will also be um, DSS that will be there. It's a DSS event. There will be some giveaways and a whole bunch of other stuff going on. You can call that number that I just read to you and get more information on that as well. Or you can visit the website again. Now the next event, which I'm excited about, is our fashion show. We had one last year, we're doing one this year, but it's extra special this year because we have some great designers, including B. Turner Designs. She was here, um, she was on Real Talk a couple of weeks ago, and we had an interview with her, and you saw her lovely gowns. Now you can come and see them live. We also have a wonderful designer that designs swimsuit. Uh, swimsuits and different other things just come out. I don't want to give it all away, but there'll be a whole bunch of surprises and that is September 3rd at 6 p.m. Arrive on time and get your tickets now. The uh, location is Giggles in Hempstead. Everyone's pretty much familiar, but I'm going to give you the address anyway. It's 468 Peninsula Boulevard and that's Giggles September 3rd 6 p.m. The fashion show. Get your tickets on the website. Now our next event is in November, but I want to tell you guys now uh, because it's an event with the Blue Ring Foundation uh, that I started that I talk to you guys about all the time that we help single mothers, teenage mothers, battered women, but this is an event that's open to all families that want to come out and join us for our Thanksgiving dinner. It's actually on Thanksgiving. It is November 24th and that will be, uh, it starts at 12 p.m. It's from 12 p.m. to to 3, 3.30 p.m., around there, somewhere around there. But if you come at 12 p.m., you know, you can eat. We'll give you a plate to take home so you don't have to worry about cooking if you don't want to cook. Uh, it will be located at Giggles, the address I gave you before, 468 Peninsula Boulevard. You have to register for the dinner. You cannot just show up. You have to have your name and your family members and the amount of people you're coming with to be registered. So you have plenty of time to register. Once again, it is on Thanksgiving, November 24th. You can go to www.thebluerangfoundation.org and send me a message stating that you are coming and how many people you are coming with. We want you to come out and have fun. We also need volunteers, and we will, we will be giving away clothing and different things that you may need as well. So stay tuned for the next show on Real Talk, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. You done?
Yeah. <laughs>